Good afternoon, um, dear viewers. So uh, I'm George from Ireland, and here I am in Bun Hill Cemetery in London. The etymology of this is thought to be Bone Hill. Uh, so when they um, rebuilt St Paul's Cathedral after the Great Fire of London in 1666, they dug up a lot of earth from excavations and they dumped it here, creating an artificial hill. Uh, at that time, the Church of England was, well still is, the um, official Christian denomination um, of England and those uh, Protestants outside the Church of England, um, Baptists, or Quakers and so forth, they often chose to be buried outside Church of England graveyards. Many of them were buried here. They were often called dissenters or non-conformists since they didn't conform to the Church of England. So um, this became the main cemetery for uh, uh, non-conformists, we'll call them, uh, in London. And uh, that's why it's a very distinguished burial ground. Notice it's not officially called a graveyard or a cemetery, this one. And uh, some very uh, esteemed personages um, are interred here. Uh, for instance, uh, William Blake, the uh, celebrated poet. Um, let me see, William Godwin. Um, there are many more. Well, uh, uh, Oliver Cromwell's two sons, Henry Cromwell and Richard Cromwell, are both uh, buried here. He had more sons, actually, but they're not buried here. Um, John Wesley's mother finds her last resting place here. Over 154,000 people were buried here. So it's not a particularly macabre place to come, and um, it's used as a almost as a recreation garden, a bit of it. Uh, you're not allowed to play ball games here, but I can see some people in the opposite direction having a, a um, picnic on the grass. It's not all densely filled with uh, gravestones like that. Just across the road um, is the original Methodist church, uh, the very first one in the world on City Road, and um, John Wesley is buried at the back of that. He, of course, is the man who founded uh, Methodism. So it's an island of uh, tranquility uh, in um, the centre of London, very close to the financial district. A good place to come for some quiet meditation or indeed a friendly chat, so long as you uh, behave yourself with um, decorum. It needn't be um, a spooky or a sombre experience uh, coming here. Um, I suppose, apart from the headstones, in a sense, there's nothing much to see. But uh, I'm the sort of person who finds a cemetery um, to be like a park, but only a little bit more interesting and historical, and a memento mori indeed. Well, that's all from Bunhill Cemetery for the moment.